<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great week so far. Uh, today is Monday, so depending on the kind of calendar you look at, sometimes it says Monday's the first day of the week, sometimes it says Sunday's the first day of the week. We always say weekend, so we always include Saturday and Sunday and part of Friday, I think. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, this video, I will, I'm not sure if I'll have the manager, um, the manager uh, do the thumbnail on it and all that, because it's really not that big of a, of an issue when it comes to weight loss. It's more of a, kind of maybe like a uh, comfort, mindful kind of a situation uh, that I was asked about. Uh, one lady has asked me, I've been asked this a few times, don't you feel proud 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 don't you have a lot of pride in what you did in the way of losing the weight and to encourage people i usually say yo yeah really really proud i'm proud of myself i'm proud of myself but then when i stop to think about it, i gotta take a drink of coffee because i'm an old guy in this afternoon i almost didn't i almost didn't get to be an old guy due to all my health issues but um thank god i'm an old guy uh, people say, I don't want to get old. Well, the alternative is, <laughs> you know, you're going to be dead. So getting old is not that big of a deal, I guess. So they asked me, am I proud? And, and to encourage them, I said, oh, yes, I'm really, really proud of myself. But then when I start to think about it, and I really sit down and kind of analyze it, because she asked me that, and I've been asked it a hundred times, and are you proud of yourself? I think it's almost like when we meet somebody, or we see somebody, hey, how you doing? As we walk past them on a trail, we don't want to stop and have a conversation. Well, you know, you see, my I, I blew up my knee and I had a knee surgery. And then I don't know how I'm going to pay my car bill, my, my car payment. And, you know, uh, I had a really good lunch yesterday. This uh, baked ziti is really delicious. We don't really care. We're just saying hello. So am I proud of myself? Mm. Then I look and say, I, maybe a little bit of pride. I, I, you're not supposed to be too proudful. Um, but I look at the whole situation so if I'm proud now, that means I should be disgusted of what I was before. And I really wasn't disgusted. I, I, I kind of almost ignored the fact I was getting heavy while I was getting heavy. Then I got heavy. Then I was really heavy. And then I decided I need to lose some weight. Did I want to lose weight to look better? Maybe. Maybe a little bit of that. But for me, it was mostly all about health. All about health. Because I was anything but healthy anything but healthy i was so unhealthy at one time prior to my 50th birthday they thought i was going to die in the hospital that's scary that's bad uh then another time uh, i almost lost my leg due to amputation and neither one of those things happened so i decided i had to do something so to be proud now i should be really disgusted before and i really wasn't and i think what it is is a different word than proud I don't really know what it would be it's kind of like a long journey an accomplishment I feel accomplished um, somewhat because I still need to lose more weight I'm, I'm not at the end it's not like well, I was 400 pounds and now I'm 180 pounds it wasn't like that I, I just decided I needed to be healthier I needed to increase my uh, healthy living things I did I need to exercise more and eat better uh, I needed to make sure I was taking the proper supplements, my, make sure I was ma maintaining my medicine. People always say, is your diabetes under control? Well, if my diabetes is high, and if my blood sugar levels are high, I guess my diabetes are not, they, they, they think you're, you're you know, they, they, they mean if your diabetes, if your blood sugar rate was supposed to be 100, uh, or 130 or less in the morning, 100 for non-diabetics, 130 or less in the morning on your fasting, and it was 195, that's bad, but if yesterday was 195, and the next day is 197, and then the next day is 200, then it's 194, they consider that, I guess, controlled, because I have a, it's, it's not up and down, up and down, up and down, it's steady. So I don't want that. I want to not have diabetes. I want to have good blood sugar. I want to be 100 every day or, or, or less or whatever it might take. So am I proud? Am I proud? People always say, oh, you must be proud. I always see people, people that I know very, very well that I, I was in classes with for, for months and months and months, and I didn't see them for two months, a uh, two-month period of time, maybe a half a year later after we quit doing the class, they didn't recognize me. I was walking my dog, and people thought I was my brother i don't have a well i guess i do have a brother my dad adopted my step i don't know who knows it's all crazy and yeah, long ago but um i don't have a brother that would be out walking my dog and people wouldn't recognize me go, hey how's it going frank how's it going they look at me like this they go, it's david gardner and they go 
<gasps> Whoa. And so people usually think that the reason I lost all this weight is because I got very, very, very sick. But it's kind of the opposite. I lost all this weight because I was very, very sick. The losing the weight part is getting better. So you could lose a lot of weight by being very, very, very sick. If they cut off my leg, whatever that leg weight, I guess that's a lot less weight. So that's why I don't really look at the weight or my inches of my of my waistline or how I look at a bikini. Uh, none of that. I basically look at my labs. My labs. What are my labs like? How do I feel? Can I can I get up out of the chair without uh, having to push up? Can I just sit up? Can I sit on the floor and get up? They always say, try this. See how healthy you are. Sit on the floor and get up without touching the floor. And I can do that. I can walk, you know, six miles, turn around, walk six miles back, 12 miles without stopping. You know, let's have the bathroom. I am diabetic. Um, so proud. I don't know. Um, should you be proud? It's up to you. Uh, for me personally, I, I think it's more of a, 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 a sense of accomplishment. You know, I accomplished something. I'm not done accomplishing, though. So I don't have a set weight I'm trying to get to. A lot of people say, what's, what's your, what do they call it? Your something weight, your, I don't know, your, your, I can't even think of the word right now. The, your, the, the weight you're trying to get to, whatever that number is. What is your goal weight, weight goal? There's a name for it though. The yeah, target weight. What's your target weight? I don't have one. You know, my target is better health. Um, I want to be able to see. I want to be able to walk. Uh, I don't want my kidneys to work. I don't want to have a stroke or a heart attack. Um, Eventually, one day I will be dead, but I don't necessarily want it to be tomorrow. So proud, pride, I don't know. I think you have to keep your eye on the prize kind of thing. And for me, that's better health. So when I was at the heaviest, I was very discouraged. I uh, wasn't super depressed, just discouraged. Wow, I got a lot of work to do. I think it's kind of like cleaning out the garage. <laughs> you know, you, when, you, when you have a two-car garage and you can't park either car in there because there's so much junk. And then you go, well, I, I got to start parking my car in the garage. It's ridiculous. I park on the street. I walk down and my garage is full of stuff. I look like uh, uh, something from on, on the show Hoarders or one of those uh, uh, garage clean-out videos you can watch for people that do storage lockers and all that kind of stuff. And you see that big, big task. I had a big, big task. I had a big, big everything. But I... I had to lose a lot of weight because I was so heavy. I was so, so, so heavy. So I had to do that. So for me, do I feel proud at this point? I, I don't know. I feel like I did accomplish a little part of what I did. I'm not done. I'm on the journey still. And I will be on the journey for life. If I was once able to get up to over 300 pounds, I'm able to get up to over 300 pounds again. And that's always kind of in the back of my head. As I lose weight, I, I don't really, I, I told people in earlier videos, if you go back that way, you'll see videos about questions and answers. I, I have three of them now, question and answer videos. And a lot of the things we talk about in some of these videos are answered in the Q&A. So if you want to look at the Q&As, or if you have any questions, put them down below. Put them in the, tar in the, in the, in the comments and I'll try to answer them but i could easily gain all that weight back you know, right now this morning um i didn't weigh myself but I, I i would imagine i'm probably about 100 and still about 128 pounds down from my heaviest and of course that's, that was a roller coaster up and down yo-yo i have a video called yo-yo um and it would go up and down up and down if i weigh myself all the time i would see it was yo-yoing i'm sure not, not you know 40 pounds uh, on tuesday and down 18 pounds on Wednesday, but uh, you know, maybe up two pounds, down a pound, up a pound, and I just can't keep track of all that. So I weigh myself on the first and the 15th, but I could easily slip up and do that again. People said, do I have a cheat day? No, no, not on the sign cheat day. There are times I've eaten things, ooh, man, I better, <laughs> I better get a walk a little extra. I shouldn't have had that thing. And that's mostly around the holidays. It's Easter right now. And if you go into any store, wow, there's a lot of yummy stuff. There's Cadbury eggs. There's this Reese's peanut butter cup, uh, uh, bunny shaped things. There's this Lind, is it Lint, Lindor, or a chocolate thing. There's, oh, you name it. They're there. I like malted milk balls. They have those ones that look like eggs. I love all that stuff. Jelly beans, not a big fan. Um, but um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff out there. So I could easily slip up. So proud, I don't know disappointed in myself before yeah i guess i was um depressed due to that sure sure i'm sure i was um and that's the thing i just don't know should should we be proud if you lose some weight i'm proud of you okay i'll, I'll be proud of you let me know what you did the lady who lost the 27 pounds she's still on, on she's still going she's lost uh over a fourth of what she, her goal is yeah i think she said she wanted to lose about 100 pounds she's over a quarter of the way there and I will check in with her, see how she's doing. I'm proud of her. She was watching the videos. I remember all these videos, every single video. I keep telling you, every video I have on here is what I'm doing. 
what I'm doing. I am looking for lost pets, so you can help me with that without asking your doctor. You don't have to ask your doctor, is it okay to keep your eye out for a lost pet? Because I'm looking for lost pets. And the reason I'm doing that is people say, why do you do that? Why are you doing pets? I've been asked that a few times. I didn't put it on the Q&A, but let me answer. Pets are very, very important. They're very important. If you take a dog into your house or a cat into your house, you're responsible for that dog or that cat. And if that dog or cat's missing, you're going to be so stressed so stressed and scared if you're a good person and i'm sure you are if you adopted an animal or if you even if you bought one but the adoption please adopt don't shop um but if you get out there and you your animal's lost you're gonna be stressed if you need a dog to walk with and you don't have your dog to walk with there's exercise you're missed out if you don't have a pet a lot of these um, uh, shelters you can go and sign up to be a walker and you know, maybe you can't do it every day maybe say hey monday and wednesday when i get off work at, at five whatever maybe uh, the old nine to five uh, who, who works that anymore but uh, i can go work i can go walk dogs from maybe six to seven thirty or something and i'm looking for that but the reason i do that is because i have a big reach um this is of a big everything like i said but this channel has a huge reach uh, 10, 000, i think it's 20 10, 280 i think last time i looked reach and it's, it's worldwide so if you watch a video about a lost animal tap 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 you you right there how do you do it? Where's the camera? You right there. Okay. Uh, Uncle Sam wants you. I want you. Um, <clears throat> please uh, share. If you see a video, all you do is just share it. Boom, share. Because if there's 10,000 something people that want, that are subscribed, that means a lot more people are watching. Just if you have 10,200 and something subscribers doesn't mean that 14,000 people at certain times haven't watched your video. So please share, 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 share. That's why I put those on there. The other videos that are out there, remember, those videos that I'd show you, the things that I've done, that's me. These are my supplements, my medicine, my walking, my uh, diet. This is all me. Because the channel is about what I did. So if you have any questions about what you should do, I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> I'm not going to answer. But if you want to write it down there, and if it's something I've done, you might say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about eating you know, uh, eating for a snack. I'm thinking about having, uh, you know, a low-carb tortilla with some really good quality cheddar cheese on there what do you think because hey i do that too at least tell you i do it i, I might not I, I'll, I'll still tell you guys check with your doctor check with your nutritionist it's amazing how many things are out there for us to look at and get help with and we and we just don't take advantage of it i'm a veteran and and the va has a lot of different programs i know kaiser does i see them all the time um i don't i'm not endorsing kaiser i, I was born at kaiser <laughs> hopefully they did something good but um yeah there's a lot of things out there that can give you some help uh, read books. Uh, I, work, I look at the American Diabetes Association, WebMD, and get some ideas of different things. There's, there's uh, the YMCA offers programs. A lot of those are free. If you can't afford the YMCA, you, they're on a sliding scale. There's a lot of the gyms have walking groups. There's, you can go online to you know, Craigslist or, or, or with a thing called um, Hacienda or something like that, or Leaf or Patch or something like that. You type in, hey, walking groups, and boom, there you go. Walking group free. Most of them are free. You grab yourself a water bottle, some comfortable shoes, put on a couple of you know, good pair of socks, check with your doctor, check with your physical therapist, and get out and do some walking, if that's okay. But I can't tell you what to do. I can tell you what I did. If you want to write here, or ask some questions, I can put on a Q&A. If it's just like something real quick, like, hey, have you ever think about taking this? I can maybe write back, no, I never took that. I don't know what it is. I, I wouldn't make a video of me not knowing what it is. I, I try to make the videos informative of what I do. So, um... Uh, I was approached by a major company to do some endorsements of their um, fitness equipment. And I told them to send it to me. And if I like it, I'll do it. And maybe they'll give me some money. Who knows? <laughs> a free something. They say, we'll give you a free something. We'll give you some compensation. Who knows what it is? Ten bucks. And maybe you shoot, you know, a, a, a free a free set of, uh, uh, of little walking weights and, and ten dollars who knows but um that's just something interesting you never know what, what's going on with this new world of social media and and you know what we're talking about right now on this youtube thing probably in in, in a year people say wow look how old-fashioned that is you know because it's going so 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 fast it's amazing but anyway this is what i did am i proud of myself mm, i don't know am i glad i'm glad i am glad i'm, I'm am i joyful uh, am I rejoicing? I am glad I'm doing better than I was. I, sure, I certainly am. And I, and I hope you're doing better than you were. And I hope you'll do better in the future. And I'm going to try to do better in the future. And let's keep on going. Stay motivated. A lot of bullies out there. A lot of people, a lot of people can tell you you can't do it. Uh, I'm sure no one was really telling me. They might sock them in the nose. To my face, you'll never lose weight. You'll never lose any weight, David. But I'm sure a lot of them thought that. You know, so luckily I didn't have to punch him in the nose, but um, no, we, we don't want to punch people in the nose, but the people are negative. 
A lot of people would say you can't do it. They'll say you always try, you always fail. You know, we, we don't necessarily, it, I mean, it's almost like it's okay to do that for this. But if, if someone's, it says they're engaged to be married and, or something, then you say, oh, you're a failure. You've, you've, you've been divorced. You'll never, ever stick with it. Then people would be down on you. But if someone says to you, hey, come on, you're not going to lose 40 pounds, <laughs> 40, maybe four, you know, that, then that's okay. That's socially acceptable. Um, my dog is barking right now. So I think I'll close out with this. And everybody have a great day. There's a motorcycle. I think you can hear it. Here's the motorcycle. This motorcycle, he always waves to her. And then she always, it's okay. That as soon as he starts that motorcycle, I think she thinks he's in danger. You know, because he, he's sitting on this thing, making, it's making a lot of noise. I think she thinks he needs her assistance. And I keep telling, no, 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 um, you're not a motorcycle mechanic, no, not a zen in the art of, or any kind of motorcycle mechanic. You're a dumb, dumb dog that keeps barking at people. I love her. She's great. Have a great day. Take care.